Hey guys, it's uh, Sierra Patriot here, and I'm doing this quick little uh, review video of my Mosin Agant. It's not going to be too long. Uh, I'm just going to say a couple things about it. Uh, let's just start off with the price. Um, I picked it up at a local gun shop for about $200. Now, some people are going to say you paid a little over. You, know, you paid too much for it, but uh, I got a pretty good deal. Uh, the gun was in uh, really nice condition. Uh, you can see the stock is is just uh, beautiful. Uh, the bolt is really smooth, nice and polished. Uh, all the uh, all the parts are uh, all the matching serial. You know, all the parts are matching all the serial numbers, matching whatever. The only thing that doesn't match is the bayonet because the store was just like, here you go, random fucking bayonet. Um, I got my uh, cleaning kit with it. I got some stripper clips. Uh, and I got the, um, utility pouch that, you know, or your, you know, ammo pouch that would carry these clips, but, uh, it came with, like, the oil can and whatever inside of it. So, uh, for $200, uh, I'm not really going to complain. That's how much I saw them going for around town, so. I mean, I've looked online, and I, I've saw them going for, you know, a lot cheaper, but the only thing I really didn't take into account was the the condition, and of course the you got to do the FFL and the the shipping and all that. And and really, I, I was more worried about the condition, is because if you bought it online and you know you're not there to inspect it yourself, and you got somebody who you know they're just they're grabbing a random gun and you got to wait for them to ship it to you, you really don't get to inspect it. Or uh, they have that where you can pay like uh, a couple extra dollars for them to hand pick you one. And, you know, the money just racks up. So I said, all right, do it locally. I paid the $200, and I got a really nice, beautiful rifle. Uh, first day when I got it home, of course, I tore this whole thing apart. I, I took it apart to every little uh, last piece I could possibly get, and I cleaned it. And um, it turned out pretty good. I polished up the uh, wood. Uh, I mean, it just look at that. It just glistens. I would say for $200 is a pretty good deal. Um, I got two spam cans on the way. I paid two hundred seventy-five dollars on well from Ames Surplus. Uh, I'll I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, they were selling uh each spam can for eighty-nine dollars, uh, and shipping was twenty. So that's a uh, well hundred and ten dollars right there for one. And they said if you were to buy two or greater, they'd throw in the wooden crate and the uh, can opener. So I said, what the fuck. I uh, ordered it. It came up to $275. Um, so uh, when that gets in here, I'll make a video of me opening that. I'll open up one of the spam cans. going to save the other. Uh, and I'll also have some video of me taking it out and shooting it. I'll have that up soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if anybody has any questions or comments, just go ahead and comment. Let me know or whatever. Uh, I get, If you're a first-time buyer... I, I've, I've like I've got a lot of advice from other people online and stuff like that. I, first time buyer, I, I would just say do it locally, shop around, look for the best gun, uh, look for the you know I guess the best deal. You're you're gonna pay I guess about 150 to 200, 186, 185. Because I went to a couple of local gun shows after I've got this damn thing and they were selling in there for. Uh, one guy was selling these uh, in a pretty much uh, same condition, 187. So it's like, eh, I don't really care. I got mine, so I paid what I paid. I'm not gonna complain. I got a good deal. I liked it, so I'm happy. Also got some stripper clips coming on the way. I got the. I have only. I only got ten of them. I just threw some on the table. Only got ten. I paid about what online you can. Uh, was it about seven dollars and ninety five cent? Uh, shipping was free. I got ten stripper clips. Uh, I'm gonna have forty more on the way because uh, I'm getting eight hundred eighty rounds. So I'm just gonna fill up those forty. That's gonna be two hundred rounds, not including these ten. So what the fuck is that gonna be? You know what? Two hundred, two hundred ten? No, two hundred twenty rounds. Because that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. You know. Well, yeah, uh, more videos to come. Uh, I made a new channel. So I'm going to start cranking out new videos. And uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy them. Definitely going to be fun for me opening those spam cans. He's, there's a shitload 
of videos of people doing it. I've seen people smacking them with like fucking power tools and trying to cut them open with tin snips and uh, screwdrivers and you know it's just fun to watch them. People get so frustrated with them, but uh, yeah, get the fucking can opener and uh, just uh, do it. It's a little confusing. But anyway, uh, within a, maybe a week, two weeks' time, uh, I'll release that video, uh, and we'll just go on from there. So, yeah, this is going to be my first video on this new channel of my Nagant review. Like I said, I'll have video of me shooting it, and I'll bust it down and all that bullshit. And then I'll do a review of uh, a couple other guns, and, and we'll go on from there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this has been uh, Sierra Patriots, and I'll see ya.